These caregivers in South Florida are the true unsung heroes. And I have a powerful prayer to send them all the love and support they deserve. Will you join me in prayer right now? Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you, Lord God, for life. I want to thank you for health. I want to thank you for strength. I want to thank you for your grace. I want to thank you for your mercy. I want to thank you, Lord God, that your word says that you would never leave us nor forsake us. So I want to thank you for that, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord God, that your word says to cast your cares upon you, for you care for us, O oh God. And I want to thank you for that, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, that you're our protector, Lord God. You're our guide. You're our shield, Lord God. You keep the enemy at bay. We, I want to thank you for that right now. I want to thank you, Lord God, that you're our healer and that you're our deliverer, Lord God. I want to thank you, Lord God, that there's nothing that takes place that you don't know about, Lord God. I want to thank you, Lord God, that you're all powerful. You're all knowing. Oh, God, you're all healing. We just want to say hallelujah and bless your wonderful name. And Lord God, as we come now, Lord God, boldly before your throne of grace as your word tell us, Lord God. First, we're asking you to forgive us, Lord. Forgive me, Lord God, of anything that I've done, my thought, word, or, or deed in your, that's displeasing in your sight. I thank you for that. Because, Lord, I know, Lord God, along with forgiveness, Lord God, comes healing and comes deliverance, Lord God, and come all the blessings of God. And, Father God, we're coming tonight around the world, caregivers around the world, first responders around the world, Lord, the ones that can get there and, and help physically and the ones that cannot. We cannot, I cannot get there physically, Lord God. But Lord God, I can send a word. I can send a prayer. I can send love. I can send good thoughts. I can send good vibes because Lord, we are moving in the spiritual realm. So we move tonight in the spiritual realm, oh God. We send, Lord God, our, 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 our thoughts, Lord God, our prayers to every caregiver right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, some of us can't even imagine what you are dealing with in the midst of all the water, in the midst of all the flood. What can you do? How can you push a wheelchair? How can you get them in the bed? How can you get them out of the bed? How can you take them to the facilities? How can you prepare their food? What can you do? How can you do that? Some are in the houses, Lord God. Some, Lord God, are in apartments, Lord God. Some, the water has come inside, Lord God. Father God, right now, Lord God, we ask, Lord God, that you strengthen every Every caregiver, Lord, that you give them will, wisdom, that you give them knowledge, that you give them understanding. Lord, we thank you for the resources that are coming in. We thank you for every first responder, Lord God, that is coming, Lord God, with a truck or with a boat or with a bag of food or whatever they're bringing. We thank you for it, Lord God. Lord, don't let them get so tired that they can't keep going, God. Uh, we send, Lord God, supernatural strength, supernatural strength. Lord God, what they normally would have given up, normally would have said, my day is done. <clears throat> but we're sending supernatural strength. We're sending the strength of God to them right now, Father God. We're sending your strength. Keep them, Father God. Shield them, Father God. Direct them, Lord God. Lord, don't let disease, Lord God, get in the waters and cause them to get infected in any kind of way. Don't let animals, Lord God, get in the water, Lord God, and, and harm them in any kind of a way. Oh, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, they're going to get tired. They're going to get sleepy, but Lord, you're going to reject. We're going to revive them, oh God. Revive their spirit, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I sin, even, Lord God, 
God, pray us to my family members, Lord, that are in South Florida, Father God. Lord God, keep them, Lord, shield them and protect them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let them have a good report. Let them say we came through it. We came through it. It was the beginning of hurricane season. There was a big flood that came, but we came through it. Oh God, I pray, Lord God, that lives are not lost. Lord, I know some, I believe in the report said, maybe have already been lost, but Lord God, we pray that, that, that it be, Lord God, to a minimum, no more lives, Lord God. We ask that you save. God, remember the elderly today. In the name of Jesus, as the caregivers are working, Lord God, with the elderly. And Lord, we know, Lord God, that they can get frightened, Father God. Mm. Some are on oxygen, Lord God. Some are on dialysis machines. Some, Lord God, Lord God, they're in electric uh, wheelchairs, Lord, which can't run in the water, Lord God. The dialysis machines can't run in the water, Lord God. Lord God, the, oh, Father, oxygen, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, some are on oxygen 24 hours a day. Oh, God, the ones that are in the hospitals, Lord, on first floor. Oh, God, we pray, Lord God, that you... Jesus, Jesus, that you give them wisdom, that you help them, Lord, that you keep them. Strengthen every caregiver, I pray tonight. We send the word to you tonight as a caregiver supporter. We send the word to you tonight. Guys, my name is Queen C. Pinkston, caregiver supporter. And this is what I do. This is what I do. I am a caregiver, and we pray and we send encouraging words to caregivers around the world. Lord God, not so much the one that is in the wheelchair, even though tonight we're praying for the ones that are in the wheelchair. But our ministry is to the one that is pushing the wheelchair, the one that is trying to, to, to take care of that one that's in the wheelchair, the one that is providing for that one that's in the wheelchair. Give them, Lord God, strength tonight. Give them wisdom. Give them knowledge. Give them understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, and we pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Guys, if you pray this prayer along with me, make sure that you subscribe at Queen CNLB. I have no way of knowing. I have many, many people. My subscribers are growing every day. But yet, if you don't communicate with me, if you don't send me a comment, if you don't talk back to me in some kind of a way, I don't know that you're there. I don't know that you're watching me. I have people say, I watch you. I, I, I hear you. I see your videos. But they won't like the video. They won't... Uh, uh, acknowledge in any kind of way. I can't communicate back with you. I want to communicate back with you. And for the ones of you that are leaving comments, some, some of you are leaving the most precious comments, the most heartwarming comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It not only blesses me, but it bless other people, bless other subscribers when they read your comments and see what you're saying. If you are in this flood, if you're a caregiver in this flood, and you hear this prayer, respond, respond back, because we're going to continue praying. We're going to continue praying for you through this thing. In the name of Jesus, may you have a blessed night. May God keep you. Remember, he said he will never, never, never leave you nor forsake you. This is Caregiver Supporter. This is the Encourager. This is Queen C. Pinkston. We're going to be seeing you right here.